Noddy has a universal appeal. He's published in 40 languages, and this is extraordinary. The brilliant thing with Enid Blyton, whatever age group she was working for, she got it precisely right. And I think it's something to do with Noddy represents the innocence of that age. And they just consciously know that, or unconsciously, realise that, that he's somebody like them. Drawing Noddy is, is relatively simple, I think. He's got a, a nice round, sunny face. If he's happy, he's obviously happy. If he's crying, then he really does cry. If he's angry, he jumps up and down. A very positive creature. <laughs> the difference between drawing by hand something is that you've got a lot more freedom and you can get more uh, a animation and depth into an illustration. And he's changed. He started off being rather stiff and wooden. Well, he is made of wood, so he would be wooden. But uh, in, in, in drawing Noddy and all the adventures he gets into, he had to become more flexible. All the characters in Toyland, they, they do link with, with real people or animals. <laughs> uh, but, but it all works and, and, and people are probably uh, nicer to one another than they used to be. The people that misbehave say they're sorry <laughs> and apply themselves to helping others, then they're, they're let off and taken back and accepted. So. Which, is, which, is, which is good, and it's, it's a good lesson for children, I think. Too.